Good morning to the world. This is Happy Science Morning Prayer from Tokyo, Japan. To be strong and brave and stay positive, powerful and constructive. Let's begin. Lord Elkantari, Master Yuho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us another day with new life, for our spiritual growth and creating utopia on earth. With our sincere gratitude, let us recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appear the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha Land. Buddha Land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boats sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words, and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days, or to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha. 
and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now, here, I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas. Believe in that the light has reality. Believe in that love has reality. Believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here, we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and a shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this I give my thanks. Now we will have some time to dedicate our deepest gratitude to the Lord.
Hello everyone, good morning, and thank you for joining us today. Today's topic, topic is related to Gahi. Do you know what Gahi is? Have you watched this film, uh, Beautiful Lur, A Modern Tale of Painted Skin? Uh, this was released on May 15th, and it has won 66 awards from 11 countries. Have you watched this? Those of you who haven't watched this, um, so what is Gahi? Gahi is, broadly speaking, someone who thinks ugly things in their mind, but pretends to be uh, pure and faithful to achieve what they want. Or uh, they try to show yourself more than who you are. Or a gahi is a yoma, a foxy demon, who tries to lure people with their sexuality or their appearances. Okay? So, and they possess strong self-love. And if their desire or wish don't realize, um, they make people fall into ruin. Okay? And both men and women can be a gahi. So, um, I have seven points that you can check to see if you have any gahi uh, aspect or not. So, one, uh, you care about how people look at you and evaluate you. Two, uh, you change your character based on who you talk to. Three, you neglect making daily efforts. Four, you think it's meaningless to have friends or acquaintances if they have no benefits. That's mean, isn't it? <laughs> and five, you feel it's okay to tell a lie if no one's get offended. And six, you think if people do not love you or show respect to you, they should deserve unhappiness, okay? And last but not least, uh, empty compliments or flattery comes out unconsciously. So these are the seven points. Uh, did they apply to you? No? Yes? <laughs> um, to be honest, I uh, several of them fit into me, and um, I'm on my training to get rid of these aspects. Um, I'm on my training as well. So uh, let's look more uh, specifically. So for example, you put on a nice dress, you put on nice makeup, and you go outside and take pictures in front of an expensive car which you don't possess and upload it on SNS to show your false self or false status to feel that you're better than someone else. Okay? Or uh, you show off your social status or family status or your background to make you feel good or superior than others. Does that make sense? And, or uh, you say something like nice things like, oh, your outfit looks stunning or I'm so happy to hear your promotion, good job, or um, oh, I'm so sorry that you failed in the exam, I feel sorry for you. But in the bottom of your heart, you're not really thinking that way. Do you get it? So. So um, instead of having uh, pure compliments or pure mind, you have self-love or selfish desires or intentions behind what you say. Okay? So, so something like, if I say this, I will get this, or if I do this, I will get promoted, or if I become friends with them, they would do this for me. Or if I give this, I would get this in return. So it's all about selfish 
things. And so the thing is, what kind of thoughts or emotions did you put into your expression or words? That's the most important part. So uh, to make it clear, it's okay to try and look beautiful. Uh, that's one way of giving love. And it's okay to be, to pr be promoted or uh, achieve social status if you're making the right effort to do so. And it's okay to say compliments or give compassion to others if you are thinking that from the bottom of your heart. Okay, so, and those are ways to show respect or um, show showing uh, or realizing progress or building utopia. So it's okay, and God and Buddha is not, de not denying those things. Uh, you just have to be careful and see if you're not taking love from others and trying to achieve what you want by using or taking advantage of others, okay? So um, this is indeed very difficult and it's very difficult for me too. And um, it's, yeah, it's difficult to be very honest with yourself, but um, the, uh, oh, but, this doesn't mean that you can say anything you want that comes, comes up in your mind, okay? Um, so in Happy Science, we are taught that love is to give and your mind and your soul is who you are and what you are. So we are, are on our training to find our true self and to find and shine our Buddha nature, our God nature within us. So no matter how beautiful you are in appearance, in appearance or no matter how uh, good you speak or no matter how cool you act, if your mind is ugly, then that's who you are, okay? So you are covered with fog and black clouds and that's not your true self. So. When you say you're beautiful to someone else, um, try to find something, just even just one thing that's beautiful. Or um, if you say, I'm happy to hear your promotion, uh, try to find something that you can praise and um, uh, something you can praise them until your heart thinks that way. So you need to change your heart, okay? So um, to wrap it up, I want to share a few lines from a line from Woman's Enlightenment, a campaign song of Beautiful Lure, A Modern Tale of Painted Skin by Master Gyuho Okawa, uh, sung by Sayaka Okawa. And if you have the CD, there is English uh, lyrics, so please um, have this. Uh, so it goes something like this. Uh, before your eyes, the world of reflection sh shows on the round mirror. So your mind, okay? If I were to look into your yesterday, I can tell who you really are today. If I were to look into yourself today, I can tell and it will define who you will be tomorrow. Be humble and live the beauty of the everlasting grace and the fineness of the truth so pure and pretty. Okay, it's in this CD. So uh, please always keep this in your mind, contemplate and think what you can do to find your true self. Uh, because we're all created from one source and we're all created from El Cantare. Uh, we were light, so let's study the truth daily and polish our mind so that we can eliminate selfish love to attune to the mindset of God. So, and if you want to learn more and find your true self, there is this book, uh, The True Eightfold Path, Guide Points for Self-Innovation, this one, and also 
uh, recently we have uh, made, released this new seminar, uh, Reflections for Not Falling to Help, Part 2, Overcoming Sexual Desires. Uh, and this was mentioned in the film, A Beautiful Lure, A Modern Tale of Painted Skin. And we can conduct this online seminars as well, so contact us and let's polish our mind and bring happiness to people. We look forward to seeing you again. So this concludes Happy Science Morning Prayer. Uh, be strong and be brave. Stay positive, powerful, and constructive. Have a nice day.